everyone welcome to my video which i'm very excited about because i'm going to talk to you about market domination and i know i've been a bit quiet the last couple of weeks i've just been doing a lot uh, a lot of research a lot of studying because i'm very interested in things that help to unlock your business for you know your business my audience and my customers and I've been reading a lot about companies that have dominated in their space and one thing they all have in common is when they started in the beginning they all picked a niche they didn't just pick an industry they picked a niche within the industry and a niche is a group of people with certain behavior who you go after for business and you know don't if if you're in um, say newsprint for example you know being a media media is not a niche media is an industry your niche is who are you going after what group of people are you going after uh, if you're in say manufacturing organic baby food you know your niche is not all mothers or you know people with children your niche is parents who or mothers who can afford to buy more wholesome food and get more nutrients for their child but this comes at a cost so obviously your niche then becomes people who can afford and you know you can define them further what kind of parent that would be and plan all your activities around that because niching out actually helps you you know with your strategy it helps you with your distribution strategy it helps you with your marketing strategy how do you communicate to a group of people versus communicating to everybody it's so much easier if you just have a niche of people with same characteristics to communicate to as opposed to trying to talk to everybody and be everything to everyone and if we look at successful companies like apple apple makes one phone a year if they make a few variations it's still once a year around the same time in september and that's it they're done for the year but when you look at companies like you know samsung they make so many phones i don't even know what series they are at right now they've got phones low-end phones mid-range phones high-end phones it's confusing and I, I wouldn't trust somebody who's trying to be everything to everyone. I would trust somebody who gets me and develops a product that's good for me. And that's where, you know, that's where niching out comes. Look at Amazon. When Jeff Bezos started, when Amazon started, they were doing books, books exclusively. And then they went into the Kindle. Then, then they just upped the game. What do people like to do? you know when it comes to reading how do we get this book to them faster how do we make it cheaper how do we improve the distribution so they perfected that before they became the everything store that they are right now and that's the thing when you niche out if you even look to go to take you back to apple if you remember max at some point they were they were more for graphic designers like we knew all graphic designers used to use macbooks and uh, and max but eventually we've come to love them for the things that the graphic designers loved about them in the first place one of the things i use it for is to edit my videos but if they had tried to communicate to me in the beginning they might have lost me because i didn't have that need now but with time it grows because you now start to see the benefits of the product because others are enjoying it and you can dominate a particular industry or a particular area if you niche out and really use that as a great plan of attack um, to occupy your industry so i would say like you know niche out if i had a meeting the other day where i asked my uh, this potential client who their target customer was and they told me everybody who every business that needs an internet connection uh, every business really so from the university startup to coca-cola you know east african brewery safaricom like you know if 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 they needed an internet connection all of these are, are your cust your potential customers that means you'd communicate the same way to the university student as you would to coca-cola and they would hear you that means your salesperson would be the same the same person going to talk to the university student would be the same person who's talking to your 
to your big corporate, you know, that doesn't work. Your messaging would be so complicated to help both of them understand. You wouldn't actually end up getting any. And your salespeople would have such a hard job because they can't remember one thing. They have to remember like 15 things because you have so many different products and services to try and address both sides of the market that it's confusing to anybody who works for you. So I would recommend you don't have to, but if you really want to dominate the market, I would recommend seriously from what I've read that you niche out and and not just what I've read, I've practiced this as well in my work. I had to reduce the services that we offer in my company because I realized I was trying to be the everything store. So now we focus on a limited number of, of services and we make sure that we refine those services and we get better every day so that we give our clients better results, which is what has led up to this new series for me where I'm really Doing, I've done a lot of work in trying to understand what are the inputs and the outputs of success. The out, success is the output, but what are the inputs that go into it? And in order for your business to be successful, you have to niche, you have to select a niche and then work on delivering the best products for that niche. And if um, you watched an earlier video, I'll put the link below, where I've talked about how this starts with the founder of the organization or the CEO, the person who drives the strategy or the vision for the organization. That person is so key to this process. So that's the person that I'm, I've, I'm speaking to right now. If your organization is one of those that's trying to be everything to everybody, I can tell you that it's gonna be an uphill task and you're not gonna be good at everything. You're going to be like one of those jack of all trades and expert of none. It's good to know everything and to have a vision that is to be the everything store and to provide all this to everybody. But when it comes to your immediate strategy and how you're going to dom dominate your market, niche out, niche out. This is great advice for you. So if you like it, um, like the video, comment, let me know what you think and follow me so that I can bring you more of this kind of content and I look forward to seeing you at the next video.